A Texas state senator who gained national attention for a filibuster is in the spotlight again this morning. Wendy Davis spoke for 11 straight hours, you may recall, last summer against an abortion bill, but parts of her life started coming into question. Now, as Anna Warner reports with a bid for governor on the line, Davis and her family are breaking their silence. You can play holier than life with my life story, but I draw the line when it comes to lying about my family. State Senator Wendy Davis has been on the defensive since an article in the Dallas Morning News called into question her background as a single mother. Know this, I never gave up custody of my children. Davis's eldest daughter, Amber, took to the stage to support her mother. I have the privilege of introducing you this evening to my best friend, my role model and my inspiration, and make no mistake, the best mother in the world. Just hours earlier, Amber and her sister Drew each released an open letter to Texans. It is a shame that those who don't know us feel the need to comment on the details of our lives, Amber wrote. Those details include questions over how old Davis was when she became a divorced single mother and how much time she spent living in a mobile home. Yes, we lived in a trailer, Amber continued. Does it matter how long? Not to me. Davis has admitted that some of the details may have been wrong, but insisted that she did struggle. Her likely Republican opponent, Attorney General Greg Abbott, has accused Davis of systematically and intentionally misleading voters, just the latest in a heated gubernatorial campaign. If her narrative falls apart, then her message, part of her message falls apart. Jay Root, a political reporter for the Texas Tribune, is not convinced that message is tarnished. The trailer, who paid for what in college, I, I, I don't think that's going to be the A1 story throughout this entire campaign. A campaign with more than 10 months still to go. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner, Austin.